he we have an editor in his natural habitat. He has just about finished his project, looking proud and pleased. There is one important step, just... Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel again, my name is Crazy Wise Beast. Today we're going to talk about wokeness, the whole crappy corporate philosophy of diversity and fucking storytelling bullshit and stand culture and what the fuck it's doing to our uh, fandoms now i know for those of you who have come to this channel originally for all the paranormal stuff may be confused why i'm doing this again if you watched my introductionary to my channel and what my channel stands about and what i like and what i dislike then you know that storytelling is an art and also it's being attacked by politics and also agenda and also the policy which is just bullshit in itself. We're gonna have to talk about the whole, well, crappiness and all the, well, LGBTQ shoving into people's face and wokeness. LGBT community, all I have to tell you is you gotta control your messaging because folks like me are getting tired. That's all I have to say. And feminists, if you're so upset that women are being suppressed, why are you not being in Afghanistan? Helping women over there getting slaughtered by the Taliban. Why are you not in India? Why are you not in Africa? Why are you not in South America? Hmm? Why are you not in, oh, I don't know, Ethiopia or Madagascar? Hmm? Because you can't. Because it's very easy bitching over here than losing a fucking hair or limb. I'm not talking about lies because most of you feminists wouldn't die for a cause anyway. I respect old feminism. I don't respect this current one. This current one is what's giving you women hard time with men that are going to the red pill community because let's face it, you are not very easy to understand. You're not actually helping to solve the problems you're asking for. You're creating new ones and you're bringing old ones back. It's the end of that. <sighs> And now for stan culture. Look at stan culture. It's infiltrated fandoms. It has basically ruined everything. They're kind of afraid of all these stans because it may go nuts. But let's face it. The fans are nutty and crazy and they don't really make sense. And they go crazy on you because of that one disagreement you have with them. Doesn't make much sense, doesn't it? Yeah, no. You wouldn't want to go in it. I have the same feeling for country music. But country music fans are not going to attack me. As far as I know of. Yep, no, nobody's coming to kill me. And stand culture is also a Trojan horse for a bonus crap load of people known as journalists telling us we're racists, we're misogynists, we're crappy people. I am not a racist nor crappy person if you know me very well, but nor do you want to know me, nor do you want to know my fandom. I will not like you to be in it. Look at fucking Avatar Legend of Korra. That was destroyed by crappy writing and also the LGBT community showing a little too much of itself and crazy fucked up stands just running amok. And look, it ruined future storytelling past Korra about the Avatar series. We don't know what's happening. They're gonna retell about Aang and Suko and the gang. They're not gonna tell anything other from the future past Korra. They aren't. They ain't gonna touch that. That's Chernobyl's site now. Okay, maybe you're not liking that. Well, look what has happened to High Guardian Spice. High Guardian Spice was so horribly received by anime fans because anime fans thought their money was going to animators because in Japan and the rest of the world, animators are paid very little and they're getting treated like shit. Compared to an animator to a fucking donkey, the donkey looks better living standards than an animator. I'm sorry, but it's kind of true, especially in Japan. Well, the original thought was what Crunchy Rules High Guardian Spice was going to be. It was going to pay the animators. When people realized High Guardian Spice was for Steven Universe fanfic bootlegs, people had an uproar. Oh yeah, I remembered it. It was fucking disgusting uh, what they did. And that's why I don't like Crunchy Roll. And that's why I don't subscribe to Crunchy Roll. And that's why I'm going to bootleg all my fucking anime now. Because I can't trust Crunchy Roll. You're very disingenuous people. And I don't like you. Crunchyroll has garbage. And Crunchyroll also had casualties for High Guardian Spice that are people of color that actually had good storytelling, that had actual good plot and actual and that could attract millions of people. But High Guardian Spice was so disgusting, it ruined it forever. Congratulations, Crunchyroll. You done a great job. You fucked up letter no one else has ever fucked before. You should be so fucking lucky. Hooray, hoo ah, fucking women all over again. I'm not calling you women because you don't deserve to be calling women. And now for corporate heads and what they think about the perfect golden ratio to diversity, minority, and all that stuff 
to storytelling through politics. There is none. There has not never been such a thing. There has only been one thing that's true. Tell good stories. You might be saying, well, my storytelling has always been political and you had political messaging. It was like a sprinkle. Not sprinkles. Sprinkle. Singular. It wasn't over the head slamming you with a sledgehammer and telling you, this is the message. No, it was not. It was very easy and it was very tame and people enjoyed. And another thing we have to talk about, these hand-me-down characters. Black Superman, Latino Wonder Woman, fucking Asian Batman, Purple Potatoes Robot Girl, Hawkeye. Then just make new characters. It's not that hard. It really isn't. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking with me? This is right up with fucking Black History Month. This is fucking atrocious this is fucking insulting this is condescending you know this you know this nobody wants hand-me-downs not when they're a kid not when they're adult not even with their storytelling not with their job not with their fucking homes they don't want hand-me-downs no one does hell you can even try arguing some animals don't want hand-me-downs if you did the study about how animals would take it if they had hand-me-downs probably not too well Okay, then what can we do? Well, I don't know. We gotta just make sure we gatekeep our fandoms out of crazy bitches and fucking nut job journalists who write hit pieces about us all the time because we don't fit their fucking worldview. Newsflash journals, no one likes you anymore. You're losing views, you're losing fucking clicks, and you're losing fucking audiences. Fucking change your page and fucking actually start doing what you were originally meant to be. Helping people sort the information out so they understand what's happening to the world. People should not be doing this to themselves. Because the world's too busy and it won't allow you to sort the information. And we also have to address two different things about another topic that's happening. Fanfic and... Ugh. Fanfic. Let's go with... Ugh. Fanfic. Lord of Rings, Rings of Power, Power of Coochie, Gone Wrong, Amazon series is a fanfic that has gone wrong in so many ways. Ruined J.R. Tolkien's story and J.R. Tolkien himself said in his stories that his overarching plot, the overall message is what happens when you leave corporations alone and what they do is culturally appropriate and just misman everything. Which is ironic because Amazon is a giant corporate head. And now a fanfic that's good. Well, if you go to Emperor Kamquat's channel and they may have mentioned about this Transformer Prime video online game. It's not a video game, it's a video it's a game video. I don't know what the proper terminology is for that, but you click on a clip you watch the video through, you see the result you want, and it'll give you a couple of different choices you want. Which one you want to pick leads to a couple more, a couple more, until you get to the end result you want, or the ending that you're most pleased about. And that is actually more interesting because you know why? It's being made by actual fans who like the property and who actually want to make it, and they're not like putting their own sort of like terminology, like suddenly Optimus Prime is a woman, or I don't know why there's men or women in Transformers in the first place. But hey, what do I know? Or all of a sudden, Bumblebee is a fucking East Indian stereotypical Transformer. Would that be fun? Ooh, 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 RC is technically Latino. She ain't a robot anymore. She just became Latino all of a sudden on an alien world. That's like a hundred times bigger than her. She can somehow stand on it and breathe and not get smushed and dying from fucking lack of oxygen. No, Emperor Conquad's not doing none of that. In fact, Emperor Conquad is expanding more of the lore in their own headcanon about Transformers Prime and how it really should have ended and what is going on with it. I'd like to see Emperor Conquad's version of like their version to Transformers and what would their own Transformers show be like. But hey, that's uh, my personal opinion. Well, now we address that, what we have to do about all this crazy crap about like all these crazy people who are trying to like tell us we're racist we're toxic or misogynist and all that we can't give them any money folks. we can't hear them anymore we can't give them our own time and money and effort we gotta ignore them it, they're losing clicks they're losing baits they're losing power the media is losing power especially the journalists and they should suffer they should understand what they're doing is detrimental to everybody else's uh, escapism don't fuck with people's characters they like don't lecture people over their heads don't tell people about the message over the story doesn't make sense. 
Okay, it doesn't. I could tell you a few other stories you could, like, just probably just read. I can't remember the story. Uh, let me look it up for a second. Ah, oh, wait, no, I remember now. Serena. Serena is about a show, not show, it's a, about a project. What happens when you leave budgies on an alien moon by themselves over, let's say, I think it's a billion to 800 million years? And see all the evolutionary paths. You'll see predatory budgies. You'll see budgies that'll be the size of elephants. You'll see budgies resembling T Rexes. Budgies that'll be kind of like gophers. And you're wondering where does this world go at? Is it well thought out? Is it interesting? Or is this person just pulling shit out of their ass? Well, technically, no. Because it's well thought out, it's very good, it's very interesting. This, um, I think, individual has also even done the mechanics how these uh, certain life forms that are evolved from budgies and how they react and what is their niche or what is their standing, are they predator, are they prey, are they able to have a proper living conditions if one thing was taken away from them, are they uh, adaptable, are they not adaptable to the environment. Can they uh, have more brain capacity and all that? How do they hunt? How do they forge? This is all done in Serena, and it's very well done. And Serena, if I have to be honest with you, is a gateway to more stuff like that. It's mostly just online projects from individuals. A lot is good, and it's very interesting. It inspires me to make good stories from my drawings. Yes, half of it is right now fanfic of other series and shows and movies and stuff that I like. What can we do against these crazy people? We gatekeeped our fandoms. We made sure none of these crazy journalists or these stands could fuck up this shit. We're not heeding their words anymore. What else can we do? Well, we have to support people who have good ideas, stuff that we like, and we have to tell these companies, even in their doorstep, we have to voice as loud and clear and tell them, no, this sounds crap, and no, this doesn't make sense. Please listen to this other person who has a better idea of this franchise we like, and we want them to do it, and we want it done right. Because if we do it like that, then it'll make sense. Because I can't tell you folks, voicing it online is going to no longer do the cut anymore. Well, maybe you don't want to just go in the same fandom again with the same stories, different time, with different coat of paint, with a different, slightly different plot lines. You want something different. You want a little bit new. Okay, I'm giving you some, a uh, couple of examples here, folks. Uh, Tyler from Tales of Chimere is a very interesting story. It's kind of like Serena in a way, but it's instead of budgies alone, it's more like prehistoric animals and modern day animals on a different world with different humans, with different biological evolutionary branches and niches and with new species on a different world. I'm not going to tell you more than that. I want you to read the books or at least subscribe to his channel. I'll leave a link for them both. And I also uh, will tell you the reverse is interesting. It is a alternative to superhero comics from the big two, Marvel and DC, if you don't know what that means, are the big two. So the reverse is nice. Yes, it has been made fun of and sullied by shitty ass people. And we need to tell them to fuck off. Well, what else can you do? You can support manga being done by actual manga artists and writers. Hey, that's nice. But I don't want to just, uh, you know, go to the manga. Uh, I do like that other stuff you mentioned. I like manga. Or maybe I don't like manga or anime. What else do you have me that might be different? There's a lot of people, folks. That I could just keep on listening literally all week long about their different projects, comics, mangas, or maybe their own independent anime or animation shows, such as Hasman Hotel. Very nice. If you hadn't known about it, then you're living under a rock, or you're just really old and you don't really pay attention to animation. Because that's interesting, and I'm still waiting when that comes out. I'm just saying... And we need to take back the stories and also, let's just say you're a stupid person and you say, I can't identify with any of these people because I'm not, they're not black or they're not bisexual, they're not brown or they're not even a woman. Here's a thought. Make your own characters. I'm doing it some of it as well. I'm making my own characters. Not all of them are good. A lot of them are cute, but let's face it, I'm trying to practice on my weakness. My weakness is drawing cute things, so, and I want to work on that. And also, I have a few actual art projects that I'm working on that uh, I think you guys might like. And I'll make a series about how to tell good storytelling, good character, good plot. Not everything has to be wrapped up. You can leave it as ambiguous as you want. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Oh wait, uh, right. My little brother uh, showed me this uh, video of uh, some black guy. Let's see together. 
way, but Pikachu's a jihad. Holy crap. I didn't know. He went full Arabic. He really doesn't like black people. Well, later folks. Bye. Don't forget to eviscerate the like button. Don't forget to fire the subscribe button on a rocket. Get a cable company for that. Here's my Instagram account. I like the name. I'm keeping it. Here's my Amino. And here's also my Reddit. As well as my art station. Alright, and my anger too. <laughs>